This is not going anywhere. This podcast. Right? It's, I can't. I can't. I. I no, right. we have to continue some other time. No, no, we're gonna do an, a little bit more time. It's it's terrible. I can't do it. I, I I'm just not. Everything I'm saying is not good, and I'm just going. Yeah, yeah. You're right. fine. No, it's not. It's not good. I feel you. It's it's tough. No, you don't. I'm not adding any information. For some reason, I'm just kind of like lost, and I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. every story. I had to cut around because I've already said it a thousand times. It's like. I've done so many podcasts. It's like you just, you know, I know, over I know. the years, it's like you just kind of get to a point where it's like, what else is there to say? I don't know what else to say. I don't just know what live else in, to We can live in the conversation at the moment and let it go I, where it is. I know, but it's like, it's nice. Sometimes it's like, I don't know. And we went into matching mountain rides. And that was ridiculous. So, right. And it was really kind of fun. And then, like, it's just drifting in and out of different things that don't really make any kind of sense to me. Of why anyone would give a fuck. It's amazing to me that anybody gives a fuck in general, and they do. You know what I mean? Like, who gives a fuck? They do. They like it. <laughs> this is your existential moment? Yeah, you're really having a crisis right now. Do you do this on Belly? No, because... Um, no, because no, as a guest... Video games are there. He turns around and plays video games. <laughs> That's not it. Is. It's, it. On Belly, it's different because it's like we talk about... Belly's different because we talk about what's going on in the house... Also, we have a guest. Yeah, no, the guest. And then we also, it's it's also, I always tell, like, it's just different, you know? This yeah. one, the pressure is is more. There's no pressure on that one because right. this one, you know, it's like, you're so good that, like, you know, I just, sometimes I just kind of go, I don't want to, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't want to do it anymore? No, I want to do it. I just, of course I want to do it. No, I know. You know what I mean? I just don't know what I'm doing right now. Well, let's get to another, let's get to another point and then we can, we can, well, all we have to do is cruise. I need a little break or something. And I'll Smoke a cigarette. Then that'll help me. Look at me. Well, Look I, at me. I just have to, I Look don't at know me, what, sweet why boy. anyone cares. Well, you're doing good. Why are you having this existential weird moment? You don't know what anything means, really. Let's talk about that. I don't know what anything means. I don't know anything. That's another thing is, is I realize I don't know anything. That's I don't kind know, of that's fun. I don't know anything. Now we're going to science. No, I really don't know. I don't know anything about anything. Hmm. I don't know how anything works. I don't know what I believe in. I don't know, you know, how long I'm I have left. What am I doing with the time that I have? You know what I mean? What is this? You this, know what I mean? The, I mean, I, genuinely, <laughs> do you mean this? Yeah. I have these I, I, moments of just like... What would you rather be doing? I, even when I'm playing video games, I'm like, this isn't it. What do you think you should be doing I filling your know. time? I don't know. That's with? the thing. There's got to be something... You're having kind of like a midlife crisis. More. No, I'm not. I think it has to do with like the, the pandemic because it's like I can't leave. So it's like, I, you know, I can't leave mm -hmm. and I can't do anything. I can't I, do yeah. anything that I want to do. I can't do stand up. I can't do anything. So it's like my days are left of just watching old Star Trek Next Generation episodes to trying to watch other things that, you know what I mean, that people are saying, you should watch this. Mm -hmm. This is great on Netflix. It's trending number three. You know what I mean? And you just kind of watch it. This morning when I watched that reality show was just on, I was just watching it going, this is the day. And this is going to end the same as it did last night. And then it's like, and then I realize, like, what's the point of it all? There's nothing to do. Well, and then I'm going to Hawaii, you know, at the end of the week or when a couple, I don't know when I go, you know, you know, but it's like, why? We'll go. What's the point? Because there's a job there. Yeah, I know. But, um, but what, let's talk. No, I'm being serious. Yeah. Are you having this crisis moment because you feel like you're, you're not being fulfilled? It's not just fulfilled. It's just, what's the point of it all? Well, well, let's go over the point. There is no point. I hate this business, mm -hmm. and I and um, let's get out. And I'm done. I think you're done. In a week, you're going to Hawaii to film another episode of Magnum. Yeah, PI. that's not that's not the business though. That is literally the business. Yeah, but when you show up there, it's like you, you realize they even go. People watch this. Like, it's not a thing. Like you know, when I did love. Yeah, and Judd Apatow's around. Everyone's around, mm -hmm. and they take themselves seriously. That right there, to me, is the business. 
You know what I mean? So you prefer when people are taking themselves seriously? No, I want to be a part of that group. I want to be a part of, like, the cool group. I want to be a part of, like— You are in the cool group. I'm not. I'm in the, like, ghetto shit. Here's the problem that I think you're mistaken. Yeah. Most people aren't in this fake group that you think people are in. I want to be in it. You're not in it. And I want to be. It doesn't exist. It does. No, because you ask them, and they'll even tell you. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. Those you want to be in it, too. And you, that's why you butt heads with them. Butt heads with who? You know who you're talking about. Who? I know. Tell me who. What is, what's his name? Seth. Seth? The guy that was in the disaster artist. What's his name? Seth Rogen? Yeah. How do I butt heads? What are you talking Remember you, about? You got you gave him shit about the lines and the thing, and then he no, he I no, I didn't give him shit about it. I publicly talked shit about not right, having but any then lines. He, well, you bought, but you you have to understand that there was tension between you two. You said no. The, the the idea was the idea was like I don't think they cared that I was bummed that I got taken out, so that made me sad. It was a bummer. But I then was, you approach him, and then he was like weird with you. No, but no, I didn't approach him about the lines, but the next time I saw him, it was kind of weird. Yeah. Are you weird now with him? I haven't seen him. Yeah, but you think there's weirdness. Do you think he likes you? I don't think he cares about me. As a, I don't think he gives a fuck that I exist. I, I, I think he probably- Yeah, that's what it is. I think he probably- And there are people that, that, that he does care about. Well, of course. Yeah. No, but I'm okay with that. I just think that he goes, that kid's nice, kind of funny. It didn't work out with us. Yeah. I don't think he cares. But here's my thing. I gotta start. We, I gotta be a part of a group, right? That's doing high level shit that everyone wants to be a part of. We we make this show and people fucking love this show. I know, but I'm. It's, I know. Understand? No, no, that's great. And so I'm you want you, this to be highbrow and no, no, fucking no, 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 no. I don't want it to be Harvard highbrow. lampoon no, shit. No, no, I don't want to say high. No, but I want it like I we're just, not smart enough. You and I are not that smart. That's what I'm saying. What are we doing? This is great. What are we doing? We're dumb. Yeah, it's great. What are we doing it around? We're we gotta read something, man. We're we gotta learn about things. We're speaking for the idiots. Oh, God. That's it. That's People what it need, is. We, we're dumb. We're dumb. But we've always said we're dumb. Oh. And let me tell you something. Yeah. I don't want to be smart because this is fun. I'm having a great fucking time. Being dumb with you is more fun than anything I've done. And it's usually great. It's usually you're in a just easy a, you're fun, in a weird headspace. It's, like, it's like you know there, there there are snooty pit parts about me. Yeah, but you've in, you've manufactured I'm very snoo- them. No, I'm very snooty when it comes to like you mean I don't like these kind of films or these kind of Yeah, you've manufactured that. Right? You've made that up. And I've always wanted to be a part of like the cool group. And it's like even since I was in fucking high school, I could never get in. I can never get into it with the cool kids. Here's the ir- here's the irony. And I want to be in the cool kids now. Name to me the cool kids. Because they were the dorks, for sure. Who you think are the cool kids are were dorks. I know. So what are you even talking about? You don't want to be friends with them. <laughs> Whoever you're talking about. They don't exist. I know you, you make up the idea that there's this group that you would join and hang out with, but it's not. You know, I, I do these podcasts because... It was the last thing that I could do to survive. At the beginning. Oh uh, yeah, it was the la- it was like, oh, it's either this or get a day job. But now you do the podcast. My point is is that so it's the podcasting stuff isn't you know, I love doing it and saved me like, in in a way, right? But it's like it wasn't, you know, why I came to LA. Why did you come to LA? I thought that I honestly thought that I would be a movie star. But that's not that's but that's not that's not a real thought. What is that? I know, that but that's mean? one of my goals. That was my dream. Like, I'm going to be a movie star, and I'm going to do these. I'm going to do all this stuff. So, th- but you are a working act. Readjust your dream, then. I know I'm going to have to. But my point is, is that, and so every once in a while, and, p- and people think that I'm complaining or whining. I'm not whining. I'm just, you know, I'm just. It gets to a point where you're just kind of like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, and it, it has to do with the pandemic too. It's like, you know, I I don't like. I here's another thing, and this is like a. I, a part of my thing is, you know, every once in a while I like to go buy clothes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. You know, I have a, I have this, a, this weird obsession with like, you know, I'll go, you know, I'll go to Self Edge and maybe I'll get a new, you know what I mean, Japanese raw denim. You know what I mean? I'll wear it out this year. I'll just wear it every day, right, and get the creases and make it right, right? Mm-hmm. And so I, 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 you look at my emails. I've ordered 10,000 things online. And they haven't None come. of them come. Yeah. None of it's come. So I can't even do that. I'm just saying, I, I, every morning I wake up, right, and I go out to the balcony, 
Because from the balcony, I could look down to see like packages. Yeah. And there's all these gigantic boxes filled with like ottomans and chairs that fucking Kalila gets. Right. Or lamp fixtures, right? Right. And I'm just looking for that little tiny jacket, you know, or, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? The underwear that I bought. Right. You know what I mean? Or the socks or whatever, right? And it's that they, and they say it's delivering, track your, but I don't know how to do any of that. Right. Right. So I don't know how to track it. I don't know where it is. I mean, I have things. I bought a fucking, you know that couch, that French, the uh, Italian couch I have, right? A part of that deal, I bought these really cool light things, right? They're like light fixtures, right? And I remember a year ago when I bought the fucking Italian couch, I said, um, hey, you, you, you can throw in one of those fancy light fixtures? He's like, ah, no problem, buddy. You, How many do you want? Mm-hmm. I go, four. Great, man. There's only four left anyway. And then, you know, we got the Italian couch and I go, Clyde, where's the lamp fixtures? She goes, it's somewhere in Culver City and something. And I go, I guess I'll never get it. You didn't get it. You know what I mean? This sounds this sounds so like I don't have, it's just I, you're I not get getting anything. your you're not getting things during I can't the pandemic. Get anything. I can't get anything. So it's like um, The frustration is obvious. And I'm so sensitive, I guess, because of this pandemic. So that I'm just, I think that's a part I'm of just it. So, I can't take cr- any kind of cr- criticism. Criticism. But that's okay. Yeah, because we're gonna get through it, and it's gonna be fine on the yeah, other I'm end. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just a j- jumbled f- f- of nerves. You need a release. Yeah, there's nothing, you know, and the, you know they're so rude to me at the house. You know what I mean? That I can feel. Yeah, they're so rude to me at the house. When I go, you say Who's you... your king, and she goes, "I want you're not my king." Right. And yep. I go, "Tell me how you're king." You, you know? know? <laughs> Do I not say that? Who's the king? And you won't tell me you're the king unless I threaten you. Yeah. Yeah. Who is the king? Cool. <laughs> interesting. See that's, what I'm, see, that's what I'm saying. That's interesting. Yeah, and she's not the king. Can but I? I, 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 but it's not. I. 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 Yeah, I, 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 honestly, this whole podcast, I was just like the whole time thinking, is what am I doing here? Sometimes your mind gets in those things. Why? What are we saying? Yeah, you're an, you're becoming like a nihilist. You know, I, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm literally going. Why would anyone want to listen to this too? You think? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but they do, and I appreciate. Yeah, it. yeah, and I, I, I'm not, and I'm appreciative. I love when they call in and the guy with gigantism and the dwarves and all the people that and the lady and, and everyone calling in and going. You know what I mean? You know what I mean we love you know what I mean keep going and they buy the merch, but, you know and and they they tag me in it and they make little videos of me. It's really sweet and I really appreciate it. And I go, but deep down I'm going, why do you like it? Hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm glad you do. I'm going to keep doing it because you know there's nothing else to do. Do you like it? I love doing it. Yeah, I like seeing you and I like doing it. Yeah, there are times where I'm like, oh that's a funny bit or you know what I mean? Oh that we really you know what I mean? Yeah, we went this way with it. Yeah, and that was fun, right? But today was not it. No, today was just like, um, oh, that's not it. I'm glad we had. I mean, a lot of it was great. Yeah, right, George. Yeah, I'm so George. Good. No, All right. Best. Hey, thank, thank you, you for, for being, being a bad, bad friend. friend. You know, people people were worried that we were going to stop the show. Why? Because of your existential crisis that you had on the show. People were like, they're going to stop. It's going to be over. And then people watched Tiger Belly, and they were like, what did you say to Bobby? What did you do to Bobby? Nothing. You, dude, 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 to do... And let me say tig- this. I don't even know what I said last time. I don't know either. Let me say this. What? I missed you a lot when you were in Hawaii. Oh, my God. I thought about you every day. Holy shit. I had one nightmare about you. What is it? I had a nightmare you died in Hawaii, and I didn't call you, mm. but I was going to call you to tell you. Oh. Uh. I'm not kidding. I had a nightmare you got hit by a car. Yeah. Walking to dinner. Mm. Did you walk to dinner one night? Every night. There's no one. Where else am I going to go? So I'm psychic. You were walking to dinner. You got hit by like a, you know those three-wheeled cars? Two in the back, one in the front? Yeah. Hawaii, they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. Beep, beep. Yeah, yeah. You get hit by one. Yeah. And a big Kiwana guy gets, you know, oh, bro, I didn't see you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming back from the coffee or the pineapple, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And you're like, and you were, and you were all twisted up. And he was like, "Shit, dude, I think you're dying, bro." And, uh. and you were like, I, "I am." And you could tell you were dying. And he said, "Any last words?" And you were like, "Tell Andrew Santino I'm sorry, and that I love him." 
and he means the world to me. Oh, and then you were out, and then you died. And I woke up, and I ran to my phone, and I was going to text you, but I didn't. And I knew you were okay. Let me say so. All right, Andres, what's the game? No, let me let, let me just, let me re, let me <laughs> add on to that, please. Give me an opportunity to add on. That. And just to let the fans know. Let the fans know. That number one, I didn't I don't remember I know. What I did last time. Yeah, you had like a breakdown almost. It was it's okay. No, it was honest. It was great. Fine. I'm just I'm honest today. Yeah. So I don't know I remember. Number two, um, that was also because we had a backlog. So it just got to the point where we were doing too many episodes. Just yeah, you, you know, you do Tiger Belly, and then I do, and you do whiskey, and we do so many in a week. It was a lot. Eventually, it's like you go, you just go. I don't know what else to fucking say. Well, yeah. Even you know, I don't well, even we know. Were, we were dub. We were doing too many. We're too, too many, and also it's like you need to, you know, take breaks so you can, you know, re-energize. One hundred percent. So um, anyway, and number two, um, you're not you. The only way this will end. You know what I mean? Is if um, we just physically can't do it anymore in terms of like we're too busy or, yeah. you know, or somebody dies or something happens. I mean, I have been thinking about death in Hawaii a lot. You know, I, I, I downloaded a book called The Certainty of Death. Yeah. It was written, I forgot who was in it. It was written in the 70s. You know, I've been thinking about death a lot. So that's not, no, truthfully, I did have a dream. That it was you... really weird that you say, say that because I, I've never thought about death as much as I did when I, when I was in Hawaii. That's why I had a dream. It's really weird. We are connected. <sighs> look at me. I, I, I don't look at me in the eyes. I, I, you can say whatever you want. I want to look at you though. Look at me in the eyes, please. We are connected. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying is, what is, were you thinking about dying? But I did have a dream about you dying in Hawaii. Is weird. And and what? Here's what got me out of it. Yeah. And this is real. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about death all the time because you have when you have eight days off and you're alone. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're just walking around. Netflix. You start thinking about death. Yeah. And then I I, I said, okay, so I'm 49. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm not the healthiest guy in the world. Let's just you know. You're not unhealthy. Yeah, but let's say Maradona died. You know Maradona. Correct. He died and he was 60. He yeah. just recently died a couple of months ago. Yeah. Let's suppose I'm like, because he has the same body as I do too, Maradona. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little soft. Yeah, yeah. No, he's just you know roly poly ish. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. He did a lot of he we haven't had, he, he did a lot of drugs. He doesn't eat well. Mm-hmm. So I said, if I if so, I'm I'm just gonna take every moment and just milk every moment and just be grounded in 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 uh, the present moment. That's cool. It's the only way to do it. That's awesome. Because if you start thinking about death. Then it's your whole day is fucked.